Brats, PSVR 2 is getting closer and closer, and we keep getting more details all the time. Let's talk about some new news that just came out today. Multiple virtual reality news sources today are reporting on some very interesting details that have just come out about the PSVR 2. Now these have not been substantiated by Sony yet, but multiple sources and multiple virtual reality news sources are reporting on these. At least this leak gives us some exciting details of what PSVR 2 might look like. Now, big one, resolution. They're talking about getting 2000 by 2040 pixels per eye. That's 4.1 megapixels. That puts this far ahead of most headsets that are currently out. That puts it ahead of the Quest 2 in the same realm, I would say, as the Reverb G2, which is known to be one of the headsets on the market with the highest pixel density and highest resolution. We're getting an IPD adjustment dial. So that means that instead of using software IPD, that's to measure the in interpupillary distance between your eyes and make the headset fit you more comfortably, not give you headaches, make everything look like it's in the right scale. There's gonna be an actual dial to adjust that. And me personally, I find manual IPD adjustments are always much better than software. You can actually see and feel what it's doing and change it for each person quickly. It's the way to go. The headset reportedly has eye tracking capable of foveated rendering. What this means, Willow, what are you doing? What are you doing? For those not familiar with the term, foveated rendering means that the processing power can be dedicated directly to where your eye is looking instead of trying to render the entire image. Because when we look at something, our very center of our vision is what it sees the clearest, it's what it's looking at the most. So if you add eye tracking to this, when you look at a specific object, it can say, okay, they're looking directly at this. It's gonna put the most rendering power to having the best graphical resolution at that object you're looking at, and it can allow the outside to be a little fuzzier, which your eye isn't gonna catch that, and that means a lot less processing power can have a lot better graphical capability. So that, paired with the PS5's graphical power it has, that would mean an outstanding graphical experience on the PSVR 2. A USB-C tether to the PS5, not really that surprising. We knew they've said already it's gonna be one single cable going from the PSVR 2 to the PS5, but USB-C, it means of course they're keeping it up to date. We like that. Inside out tracking, again, something we've expected from the industry at this point, and a huge improvement over what PSVR 1 was using with only a single camera outside. We're talking multiple cameras on the headset. They're gonna be tracking the controllers, the environment around you, and as we've seen with the Oculus inside out tracking, it's become very capable and very good tracking. Head mounted haptics. Now this is probably the most interesting to me. A lot of people out there will be like, what? what's the point of this? Let's say you get a headshot in your headset and you feel that headshot. You feel the vibration of a car motor going. It seems like a strange thing, but as someone who's actually used vibrating headsets before and worn those like uh, vibrating headphones that actually work with the game sound, it is an extra level of immersion that just takes you in that much further so i'm really excited specifically they're saying it's a vibration motor that's going to be in the headset that's really cool another step of immersion and eventually you know vr we're going to need full body haptics everything we're going to feel it this is another step closer to that so very exciting news so we still don't have any details about when the headset's coming out how far out that's gonna be all we know is it's not this year it's not 2021 i'm super excited about this news but as i've said before a bit of a disclaimer if this headset dropped tomorrow these would be great specs this would really do it but if we're talking another year and a half or even two years before this headset comes out, I am worried that other competitors are going to beat them to market with better, more powerful technology. What do you think? Do you think that this gets you really excited for PSVR 2? Are you waiting for it like I am? Are you hoping to do it or are you kind of already over the PSVR line? Are you looking to go more Oculus Quest? Are you looking at the other competitors? Let me know in the comments what you feel about it, what you're thinking. Every, every little detail, I get more excited. PSVR has been known for having some amazing games, amazing experiences. Sadly, you know I don't like exclusives, but they get some of the best exclusives. So if PSVR 2 keeps that up, I'm gonna be very happy and excited to have one and to see what it offers. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in another reality. I wanna say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel and Afissi King Sloth, our current channel members. Our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nebatebo, Ege Karatash, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel.